Dude, wait. TS has actually won three drafts in a row that I've seen now. It's actually kind of weird. Does TS just draft well? Not let him cook. Alright. Tien's trying to move down into bottom. Okay, Mickey. Oh. oh my god, that almost hit. Oh, whoa, 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 Jackie, whoa! Oh, okay, okay. Focus up, focus up. Focus up, focus up dude. Focus up. Hey, what's happening? Okay. Wait, Zin's trying to move down. I mean, this seems like... They should be able to cover this, even though GT is really low. Actually, can they? They have flaps? They, they might be able to trade. I mean, if they get Hansama, like... Okay. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Wow, wait, Tower didn't aggro there? I thought Tower aggro aggro there. Mm. I mean, honestly, all things considered, that's fine for G2. Well, Yike had to drop Gromp, though. So now Tian gets double crab. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> no, but it's not fine because Ira has stated. No, 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 it's fine, though. Not fine. No, it's fine. I mean, that, that's best case scenario you can ask out of the situation, though. Oh, for that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Wow. Nice solo kill. Holy. What the hell? Okay, well, TS is, uh... What is going on, though? Tien is, like, endlessly just... I mean, I guess that's good, though. Look at the CS difference. What? In Ezreal Sivir. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much playing bot, but I, I think the the first time is fine. Mm. But he kind of just sat bot for, like, another minute. I feel like... Yeah. Yeah. Better I mean, now, more on your now Tien is... He's late on his, his recall, no? Yeah, he's yeah. late, and then now he's only up two camps. So I feel like if he just was right super now, efficient, after he would this just replay, be up like... Zinzel's already in his red side. Like, top, top side, yeah. He's already I mean, they're just cards. hard playing bot, though. I mean, if this works, it's worth it. I guess, it's, yeah, if it works, it's good. Big. Uh, that, uh, that's worth it. Yeah. That's super worth it. Yeah. That's, that's massive. Nothing's really happening. It's really hard for Yike to actually do anything with any of these lanes, by the way. Yeah, I don't know why they are five. I don't, yeah. I, well, this is the same fucking thing as the, the Zin in the other game, too. It just seems weird. It seems like they don't know what to pick, and this is his comfort camp. W would you agree that that's what's going on? I have no idea. Because it's so hard to make playmaking. Mm. So you might as well just pick, like, a jungler that can just match the Zyra. Yeah. I mean, like, or you can just see the sense of You have Sejuani you Braum, you know? It's like. Easy, easy. Yeah, like, I, up, but they just can't. But I feel like it's so hard happen. to actually set up. Yeah. Because Kazante is really hard to gank. He just W's away. Mm. And then Brahm's head is like, seeing the lane update pop off soon, though. Oh, oh, oh whoa! Yeah. So what killed him? A minion? No, no, no. no. Uh, Capsar. Capsar? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a big kill. It's a big kill. Wait, do they... This is a free Herald, right? I, I, I yeah. feel like it's better if they go Dragon, no? Why don't they get Drake? Yeah, I feel like it's higher value. But also, what is Tien doing? Because the Hexx slow, you <clears> slow, <throat> so then you... It's, it's not a perma slow. slow. Yeah, like, if he has a longer one, slow... It's a one-time zap. Mm. Yeah, so... Wait, is Cap's dead? No. Is he? Oh. He has to flash. He has to flash. I mean, I mean Tien... They, yeah. uh, they lose tier 2 bot though, but they get the tier 1 top. If they uh, lose they're that, losing the map so hard. If they lose flash though, like on Corky. Uh, and he, he's not, now he doesn't wait, have that up for Hextech Drake. I didn't think he go but Didn't he rush boots? Oh, did he rush? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so they get tier 2 right, top, but right. they might get okay. chased down here. Okay, Broken Blade. Drifting away. <laughs> Alright, Broken Blade. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're getting TP in behind. Oh, uh, Yike is cooked. Yike is cooked. That was, I mean, I mean, it was a valiant effort, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think it was just better, better just to accept the that. Yeah, why did he, why did he flash? R and flash? Why did he flash? Yeah. I, R is fine, I guess. Now he has uh, no flash cool for Dragon. Hmm. The game stays pretty good for uh, TAS. Actually, ooh, Kasanti might be caught here. He has no R. Can't do oh, any shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, actually, he does have our oh, Unless. Okay, trade flashes. Mm. Look at him. I don't think Mickey should have flashed her, actually. Dude, Sujuani was coming Sejuani, in from Sejuani had it with Arya. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but Mickey, Mickey, I don't know. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'll have to leave tomorrow. Oh. So I can't be here at night, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think some, some like Three six. Okay, so, I, I mean, Baron, all right, Baron just goes down. I don't think there's a way for G2 to do anything. They would have to ace them here to still stay in the game. Yeah, they can't. Full on disengage. Uh, so this is the problem with Tian might get caught here. Tian w might. He, even, even if he gets caught, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. At least he's caught. Yeah. Yeah. Like, give it to Corp, you know? Yeah, that's weird. 
Is only well, I guess Zin Zhao maybe gets his item complete. Yeah, Black Cleaver. Yeah. Which also helps quirky damage, so I guess yeah. it's not horrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. I mean, it's a little bit weird. Uh, it's unfortunate, by the way, that Mickey doesn't end, end up going down there to... I mean, for TS, anyway. For Cream. Ken just can't get away from Yike. Yeah, Blue Spy actually helps the god up. Yeah. That was really good to walk through the brush ever so slightly. Okay. Even though Kazante is 0-3-1, I don't think it matters. Yeah, he's just Kazante. Yeah, he's Kazante, dude. Okay. But bro, so Johnny's going this build, bro? Unending Despair. Yeah, exactly, yes. And no, he's no, going no, to Spear Sunfire, Sunfire Cape is so grief. It's so grief. It's so grief. Yeah, because not only... I mean, okay, it's just the wave clear, I guess. It's mm. argument you make. The mm. Unending Despair just gives you so much more EHP. Yep. And then Loki matches the damage, too, yep. depending on yep. Uh, yep. the scenario of the fight. Yep. Oh, my lord. Oh. Alright, everything's missing, by the way. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, Cream is just casually in top lane, by the way. That's a free inhib. Yeah, that's I mean, just going a free turret and inhibitor. Yeah, th I mean, this Tristana on Silent has been so hard for this game. Oh, this is it. This is this is game. This is game. That's, a, that's an easy R. It's over. It's over. Wow. Yeah. Oh. oh, they got cream. No, oh, they didn't get cream. Well, not before he did a million fucking damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Ezreal's just gonna end. Oh, oh my God. Ah, it's so over. Yeah, Ezreal ends. Wait, what is he doing? Yeah, I, the side leaning was just way too hard this game. Yeah. Even if those kills are 8 to 8, fucking yeah. Sonic got like 10 towers by himself. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, actually, they hold on? No? Wait, Holy. Brahm in 10 seconds. <laughs> or no, 15. Wait, angles are broken. Come up. Is there... Wait. Did they... Wait, did they actually just hang on? Wait, but they hung on because Ezreal creep. He didn't just go for the wave. Yeah, he could have just pushed out. Yeah, like, what is, what is going on? <laughs> What for mid him instead? Wait, that's actually. <laughs> if I started a campa campaign, 100,000 votes get this mm. Make it red, red on like an alt account. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, yep. Oh! Wait, they're holding on? Yeah, but like. <laughs> Cream at it again, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yike. Yikes. Oh, Yikes is also a moat. Yeah, Bro, yeah. I haven't heard that in so long. Yeah. Or I've seen that. The emote? Dude, names that have, like, the potential to also be memed are actually kind of cool. Yeah, like Griffin? Fucking Griffin? Yeah, <laughs> Griffin. I need name change. <laughs> Griffin. <laughs> Griffin. <laughs> Bro, there's, like, some names that, like, people are creative with it. Yeah. <laughs> Sludge. <laughs> yeah, like, or, like, Chovy, and then people just say Choki. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sludge Factor. <laughs> Toki, Shaker, <laughs> Craps, <laughs> like, it's funny. <laughs> There's some good ones. There's some good ones. How would you insult, like, uh, like, Berserker or, like, 369? You gotta come up with, like, I never hear, like, bad for, the, for those names. Alright, Broken Blade's gonna lock in the Rumble. So he's gonna be playing that, 369. See what he actually wants to play into it. We've seen things like Twisted Fate and other types of champions obviously be elected to go into it. Kennen is not a champion. It feels bad. Now, it doesn't mean that TS will lose if they pick Kennen, but Kennen is... It's even surprising the Korean casters, yeah. Yone! And the Korean casters right now are talking about how, like, you know, Lucian is banned away. Okay, Lu uh, Yone and Kennen. They are just showing their comp really early. Now, the interesting thing here is hiding the bottom lane as long as they are. So they're wanting to make sure that they get counterpick bot lane and also they want to get counterpick jungle. And I think that this has to do with the fact that the bot lane for G2 was so focused last game. And obviously we saw how rough of a time Hansama was having. Mickey also just looks so off this whole tournament. It's fucking weird. Okay. LeBlanc is being hovered. Okay, LeBlanc just gonna be locked in. So Cap's gonna be on LeBlanc. I feel like LeBlanc is so fake by the way, just as a champion. It's always a champion that's really, really, really hard to look bad on because she has so much mobility and she will pick up kills and she will, you know, she'll look ahead and she'll look like she's doing all these fancy things and then the LeBlanc pair never gets blamed and then because LeBlanc looks like she was doing a lot in the game because visually she's doing a lot, very rarely is LeBlanc actually a contributing cause towards a win. I feel like it's just not a, not a very good champion. I feel like it's a death sentence here. And then also pairing it with the Rumble, 
These are just like, so there's two lane bullies and a Vi right now. With what is being selected. The Maokai is an odd pick. This is also spots where I really wish like, you know, the, the Shen thing that we talked about a couple, uh, a while ago. Like this is a spot for Shen. Counters Vi really hard. So when the AP junglers die, champions like that, champion like Shen graves after the armor buff. Um, and these types of champions, they have to be on people's memory and like radar um, with Riot, you know, and maybe 14, 15, 14, 16, etc. Nerf those types of champions. Chen would have obviously been really good here. You have Ken and you have Yone. So we move in, we move into this. And so now you know that you're going up against Leona. And you're going up against all this other stuff. Honestly, this is a spot where even Morgana is unironically good. No one's ever going to really pick Morgana. She's kind of a forgotten su for support. She really needs stars to align, but I really think that they have aligned here. There is the Kennen, there's the Maokai, there's the Leona, etc. I'm just going to go with Varus and Rel. So they have combat potential. And so yeah, G2 are trying to fight fire with fire. This is going to be a very bloody game. Very, 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 very bloody game. And there it is. There's another dive engage AD carry. Kaisa is going to end up getting locked in. So no matter what, this is going to be very bloody on both sides. The thing is, is that G2 and TES have no recovery tools. So whoever falls behind each other, there's no coming back. There's no like stalling the game out, eventually getting to a certain point, and then slowly fighting back. Now, TS, I would say, has more options available to them than G2 does, because obviously more pick potential, more smoke and mirror potential. They have like Kaisa when she gets to three items and stuff with the way that people are tending to be building her. I mean, AP Kaisa actually just doesn't have any interaction on the opponent's team and stuff. And Tien now, it's not going to do Scuttle Crab first. And I think it's okay to not do Scuttle Crab first here because he's already level six. If he was level 5.7, 5.8, it's, it's, it's better to do Scuttle Crab first. Have that movement speed potential in case you need it. There's the Q charge. Nothing's going to happen. Yep, they're going to get the Scuttle Crab. So, first Drake, actually, for TES. And, okay, there's the E. Leona trying to follow. Nice cancel. Rel's, uh, you know, never mind. I'm not going to make a joke. All totally fine. All, everything's fine. And so now Tien... What is he doing? He's going for another flip. His, his entire jungle is about to be up. He had a clear path from Gromp to top. And he's flipping bottom. For what, man? For what? For what? For this, apparently, for this. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. For this. My bad. My bad, yeah. My bad, actually. My bad, yeah. And now, Yike, knowing that Tien's bottom, knowing that Tien is very low on HP. So if Tien wants to, if, if Tien wants to recall and get full HP, it's going to take him 14 seconds. So if, if you ever see someone, they're fully depleted of HP. The recall, eight seconds, uh, eight and a half to channel, right? And then six seconds to go back to full. And then move off out and etc. 14 seconds. Plus then you, you track wherever they are. So Yike knows he has a lot of time, but oh my lord. So he had a lot of time. He could have utilized that time to steal away jungle camps from Tien. And instead ends up going up into top. It is a one for one. And Kennen will lose a cannon wave. This is a cannon wave coming in. 369 doesn't have teleport. So he wants to kill the cannon, make him miss the cannon wave. And at this game timer, that would be 169 gold, right? 160. 68. Plus, obviously, the turret plate, the XP, etc. Okay. Haunting guys been picked up by Rumble. They've also initiated a lane swap. And I guess they're doing this because they already have control over the Grubs. G2. And so, TS wants to make sure that they're the ones that now get the Grubs. Broken Blade trying to do everything he can. Cream is going to get their EA reactivation. Mako going to go down. All right. And now G2 with the gold advantage. That is a lot of juicy plates in mid lane. Now Tien trying to get some of the Void Grubs. And it looks like he will get. I think he's going to end up getting three of them. Broken Blade looks like he wants to. Okay. I think if he doesn't Flame Spitter and he autos two more times. Uh, maybe not, though, because Fate Sealed is there on Yone. Maybe he actually can't get another plate. Luden's already completed on LeBlanc. Looks like the top turret is going to end up falling, but it doesn't matter. G2, they got the first turret. They're up 1.5k. Dragon's coming up in 40 seconds. That is a pretty important fight. 
Mickey trying to get in, in range. And with that equalizer, yeah, that would have slowed down Maokai. And so he tries to do whatever he can, tries to dish out damage. Fate Sealed is gonna go- Oh my- Oh shit! Oh my lord! What a Fate Sealed from Cream! Oh, honestly though, Mickey though, Mickey, Mickey, ooh, Mickey. Okay. Oh. oh my lord cream really wants to do this oh my oh oh my he, okay well cream just completely salvaged that situation with that bait sealed absolutely massive there for tes and now the gold lead which was almost two count two thousand completely dissipated han sama i like what he's doing he's going for the on hit varus yet again not doing any of the lethality garbage and you want to be on hit because enemy team close quarter combat all short range what is what i don't i don't know i don't know what tian's hello and so ts they're gonna be able to pick up another dragon now the worst role in the world for g2 if you're a g2 fan is mountain drake mountain drake worst role in the world it's gonna be hextech also a pretty unfortunate role Oh my god, Caps. Jeez. Caps just... Yep. 1.5 thousand gold lead. Take a look at the items right now. Blighted Jewel and Blighted Jewel. And this is because there's a lot of magic resistance that is... On, well, it's gonna it's gonna continue to get picked up on the enemy team. And so I guess they're, they're preemptively picking this up. I'm a little bit confused that Caps doesn't have tier 2 boots yet on LeBlanc. And this is also another one of the weaknesses about LeBlanc in competitive. She's one of the few mid laners where it's really imperative that she gets, like, her dependency on tier 2 boots is a little bit higher than some other champions. And so expect that, you know, that's going to be his next item. He's going to have to just go into pen. And again, Rumble being hurt by that Merc Treads pickup. His damage is actually significantly lower than he would like. Also, even his spacing, gap closing, etc. Uh, compared to if he had swiftness boots. And so right now, if you're TS, all that you really want to do, all you want to do is you just want to go tit for tat in every single lane. <laughs> you just want to basically endlessly push waves back and forth into each other until that Hextech Dragon ends up coming up. And there's nothing that G2 can do. There's no real playmaking potential in their champions. Really, really, really good. Okay, Cream with a really good angle right there. Mickey taking a lot of damage is going to get blown up. But hold on, hold on. Mako is going to go down. But there is the slicing Maelstrom from Ken. Triple kill from Jackie Love. And this is really looking like game over. Jesus, what the hell was that? It looked like he was about to do the fucking Undertaker throat slit like action. I don't, I don't know what that was. Burden Barrier also there on the cannon. Really good itemization. And Caps, yeah, I, Caps is trying to do some. So hold on, he might have found. Okay, they find. Oh, but that slicing maelstrom is so big. Broken blade is gonna go down. Meanwhile, Yike takes uh, takes a moment to pause and kill the turret, but still, even though they kill Jackie Love, at what cost? And now that's gonna be the Baron going down over to TS. Jackie Love <laughs> gonna take a drink. He try, he's trying to go and he's trying to poke. Oh, face sealed. To, oh my lord! Gets the flash out of caps! Oh, oh, looks like he almost. Oh, he got stopped. Oh, he. Oh. Oh. He got stopped. He got stopped from going into the pit. That was that was honestly like that was tense. That was looking a little a little tense for us. Oh, okay, Jackie Love is <laughs> Jackie, Jackie Love is, is lighting him up, man. And that is gonna be Hex Tech Soul. This is just, this is gonna be a wipe. This 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 fight is just gonna be an absolute wipe. Yike yeah, can try to do whatever he wants, man, but it is over. They have to try to get rid of the wave. There is Cream. There is the slicing Maelstrom. My lord. That is, uh, that's it for G2. So we got T1 versus TS. Will T1 continue taking out the Chinese teams here at the Esports World Cup? Wow. What a nice follow. What a nice follow.
어, yes. 지금까지는 거의 완벽에 가까운 경기를 계속 보여줬습니다. Tried to, <laughs> tried to, tried to actually distort him into the fountain. But uh, yeah, okay. That is it. That is it for the day three of the Esports World Cup. So the finals tomorrow, again, I don't know if I will commentate like this or if I will commentate with guests or maybe do a mixture of it.